How are you doing today? Another drive-through video tour here. Um, we are doing Oxford Oaks today. A lovely community here in Oxford, Florida. Uh, this is part of, kind of part of Wildwood and, uh, and in Sumter County, Florida. Uh, if it sounds puzzling, it is. Uh, off to the right here, you really couldn't see it. Uh, one of the new developments over here is actually an apartment complex called the Marks at Wildwood. And uh, we're rolling into a community that is Oxford Oaks in Oxford, Florida. So uh, we are in an area that's just outside the villages. And this community was actually built by the villages. One of uh, a couple of communities that the villages built for family use. This community is just a little under 600 homes. So it's pretty big. I'm not going to go down every street like I do some of the smaller neighborhoods, but I will go down uh, a few of them so you can kind of get an idea about the community. Uh, just for simplicity, basically everything south of this main road here, which we are on, it's called Oxford Oaks Lane. Everything south of it is pretty much phase one, and everything north of it is pretty much phase two. There's three different... Uh, design levels or design styles of homes um, the three different design levels are premier designer and the cottage style homes all right we're going to take a left here on Rosway. now this first area we're going into uh, these homes are pretty much all premier homes so uh, these homes are all going to be three, uh, three or four bedroom, and between two to four bathrooms. Some of them have pools, some of them don't. Uh, it just kind of comes upon whoever uh, owned the home at the time of purchase or thereafter to put in a pool. The, the builder did not do that. Uh, these homes you see sell. Uh, in the high 500s, low 700s. There's actually one on the market right now that is listed at 599,900. It's been on the market for two weeks now. So as you can see here, these area with the premier homes, uh, not only are they gonna be a bit larger lots, and the homes larger as well. Uh, but the frame structure of the home is all concrete brick homes. That's pretty, something uh, that can be significant here in Florida for a couple reasons. One, it, it helps with hurricanes, and two, it does help with insulation. So it is seen as something that is a superior to a frame built home. But uh, most people, it doesn't, doesn't really make a big difference for them either way. It doesn't need to for you. It kind of comes down to preference. Some insurance companies do prefer uh, the former versus the latter. So there could be discounts on insurance depending on the insurance company based on the frame structure and foundation of the home. head back out here uh, and if you're going through the neighborhood or you're watching here uh, and you're looking like wow well, which one are concrete block frame and which are wood frame built well and this isn't a hundred percent of the case but most generally if when you're looking at the home and like this and you can see all these here are stucco on the outside those are generally the, the concrete block. If they have a siding on them, uh, those are generally frame built. It's not, it's not the rule. It's just kind of what is uh, one way to tell them apart in this community. All right, we're back out here to the main road, Oxford Oaks Lane. Now, in the last 90 days, and that's usually when we're looking at 
finding how we're finding our comparable properties for valuation there hasn't been anything that's sold in the last 90 days and that's been fairly common in this area in the last 90 days because we've seen the, the market kind of normalize uh, since then uh, but in 2022 10 homes sold in this community in 2021 21 homes sold in this community so uh, even though it is a, a large community not necessarily uh, a lot of homes are going to sell in here each year also last year was uh, the year that the builder finished the last homes that they had for sale so everything from this point is resale um, overall there's been 50 what was it 51 51 homes that have hit the resale market since uh, 2017 all right we are heading down Medora Terrace now this is a mix of different uh, levels of homes you'll kind of notice some because of the siding and some because of the size of the homes turning on Senate Circle. Now this home, this uh, street actually has one home that is pending, which is this uh, yellowish one here to the left, right in front of us. And then one for sale, which is the, you know, brownish colored house right after it. Uh, the home that's pending, it says it's pending at 775,000. It was originally listed um, 182 days ago for a million dollars. So uh, it kind of sat for a little while, several price reductions later, and it's uh, it's down to 775,000. Which, you know, isn't, isn't necessarily bad. It, uh, had been on the market a while, um, but they started at a million dollar price tag. Agents um, and sellers obviously thinking of taking advantage of the market. The market kind of peaked in uh, in July of last year when they went on the market, and it's kind of cooled off and normalized since then. So it's just when they jumped in the pool, that's kind of kind of uh, the deal there. So as you can see here, we have more of designer homes to the right and to the left, more of the premier homes. That's generally the case. If you have something that's going to abut up to uh, some sort of a, a preferred view, you're going to generally see a, per, uh, a premier home there. If it's something that's going to be in a good location, um, then you might have the designer home there. Um, then everything in between, you're going to have the designers and other cottage style homes. This side of the community doesn't have as much of that, particularly in this area. This is pretty much uh, designer and uh, premier homes. But you'll see, especially in, in phase two, more of the cottage uh, size and design homes. Be careful, there's a little puppy dog over here. I'm you want to <laughs> Don't want to run him over. Uh, the two homes that are on the market right now, one we just drove by. That one is currently listed at 724900 It is actually one of the largest floor plans uh, that you can get. It's a St. John model. Um, that price point puts it at $215 a square foot. So it's a good size home. 3,360 square feet. All right, I'm gonna take a, a left here. Again, we're back here on Oxford Oaks Lane. We're going to finish up phase one here in a moment and we will end this neighborhood tour at the park uh, the park pool area that's here 
Uh, we'll see that coming up here uh, pretty soon. It's actually, if you look up here in the distance, uh, you can see the building uh, right here, right over here. But we're gonna head down here, finish off uh, the tour of phase one. This is Carter Path that we're turning down now. This is primarily designer homes over on this side as well. Um, designer homes are, are kind of more of the preferred finish for, uh, for the builder and it kind of gives you, it's kind of that, that middle ground. It gives you uh, bang for your buck. Now, a lot of the homes do come with uh, the builder put in carpet in the bedrooms. So I know a lot of people ask that. And then you have a, a mix of uh, between luxury vinyl and tile throughout. Many people immediately tear up the car carpet here in Florida and uh, put down luxury vinyl or tile or wood or an alternate uh, floor source other than carpet. see uh, several of these communities what they did is they kind of you'll spur off a little cul-de-sac and then you'll put premier homes in that cul-de-sac and then designer and cottage style homes throughout uh, the rest all right so the street up here that we're coming up to that has a stop sign that is Oxford Oaks Lane to the left, and I'll angle that direction so you can see it, is the second exit or entrance, or the back exit or entrance. So, do a little circular turn here. You can see it there. Uh, if I lived in this community, which I don't, I would probably be using that entrance or exit, like, almost always. Uh, a whole lot less traffic going in and out of there and also it doesn't go out onto a main road and you can turn right or left there uh, the one disadvantage uh, if you're going out the main entrance exit I don't know if you noticed when we first came in when you leave you can only turn right so if you want to turn left you got to turn right and do a u-turn so uh, that is one of the, the disadvantages coming in and out of this community all right, we're gonna head into phase two, and this is actually the part where they finished the building. This is the Zero Drive. So these are actually the newest homes in the entire community that you're seeing right here. Uh, some of the last homes to be built and sold by uh, the developer. Most of the homes that have sold in, there's only been in the last, if I, if I go up to uh, just a little over six months, so I say that, like 170, 71 days, um, there's been five homes that have sold in the community. And uh, half, uh, two, well, two of them have been in the higher price range, and the premier or high-end designer range, and uh, the others have been in the lower-end designer and cottage design. So the price changes pretty pretty significantly between them. I mean, you're you're looking at a couple hundred thousand dollar difference uh, between the, the premier homes and uh, the cottage and designer. So the, the high designer fits closer in with the premier and then you got the designer and uh, cottage style homes are going to fall 
and that more of that uh, the 425 to you know 300 in the 300s range um, this is Boyd Circle so most of the stuff you see here was built probably in 2018 2017 and uh, maybe a couple here and there in 2019 So this community does offer a fair amount of amenities. The HOA is just under $50 a month. As you see, they, it is advertised as a gated community. I don't know what's going on with the gate arm that's there, uh, but it is a gated community. And uh, uh, I have not got any response on what is, if there's going to be a gate arm put up or not and codes required. But uh, codes are an option. Uh, but they do have a they do have two full size tennis slash pickleball courts, uh, jungle gym playground area. It also has outdoor fitness equipment by it. There's a full size basketball court and outdoor pavilion. As you can see, one of the things that I really like about this community that uh, isn't isn't a requirement um, is sidewalks. Uh, they don't list that as an amenity, but at this point, uh, I really feel like sidewalks are because you can go through lots of communities and not have sidewalks. All right, so this main, this is the main street up here. That's Oxford Oaks Lane. We're gonna turn here down Zero Drive again. And this is just going, we're still in phase two. We're going to take this down to the stop sign here and we're going to hang left. So you can see here more of the cottage style homes, uh, designer and cottage style homes uh, here. This home actually on the corner here sold last year. It's a designer home. That's the right one. Uh, it sold last year. Yeah, it's a three-car garage. Yeah, that one sold for six hundred and five thousand. It's a mossy oak model, and you can look some of these models up on online. So they purchased that home at four hundred and fifty thousand dollars in twenty twenty, and then that owner sold it for six hundred five. I'll let you guys do the math and stuff on that in the two-year almost exactly two year turnaround on on that. All right, we're gonna hang right here on, what is this, uh, Keller? Yeah, Keller Place. But like I was saying, the HOA is just under, just under 50 bucks. Um, month and this is a very family oriented community uh, so if you're looking for a trick-or-treating community I'm I'm told that this is a great one kids are looking to bring in a, a big stash of candy Have you see a lot of people walk uh, walk their dogs kids jog and that's one of the huge benefits of having these, uh, these sidewalks here. Developers don't always uh, include that. So we're here back to Oxford Oaks Lane. We're gonna take a right, which is headed again towards the back entrance exit of the community, um, away from the entrance. And we're headed towards the playground and uh, so we can take a look at uh, some of the stuff that they have as far as amenities. And I'll hop out here in a second. So uh, most of the homes, like I said, range in here between the high 300s and uh, high 700s. All homes are in here are going to be between three, 3 and 4. There might have been one or two that slipped in a fifth bedroom. 
uh, and everything's gonna have two to four bathrooms. Just again, depending on uh, the, the, the design model style of the home. And that's kind of where the, the pricing really, where is the home in the community? The model of it and uh, have there been any improvements or not made to the home so those are kind of the, the big uh, the big things that uh, they look at right. and I'm going to show you off to the left here Let's swing around real quick see there is uh, mailboxes for the community park abuts up to the back part of the neighborhood this neighborhood actually has a apartment complexes are called the marks at Wildwood and that was in just off to the right of when we were coming into the community And uh, kind of see the playground area over here. I think we got it locked up now. A key required. So I don't have the key. But back over here. And uh, you can see the pool. And I'll hop out and walk around a little so you can uh, you can see it back into a spot all right here good size playground and jungle gym here um, there's more uh, workout equipment over there I don't know many people that actually use it still check yeah I need a fob so we'll go around like this here Let's see uh, the pool and outdoor area here. And you can kind of hear them in the distance. I try to walk a little fast. You can hear them playing pickleball out there. Just one of the fastest growing sports in popularity in the United States. Here's another look at the back entrance and exit for the community. On this side, there's actually a farm on the other side of there. We've got the full-size basketball court. And then see him over here playing pickleball full-size pickleball and tennis courts there if you have any questions about this community or any others in the area listings feel free to give me a call or text 352-403-3730 everywhere on social media at Matt Long Realtor.